beautiful families. Today we are going to be talking about when you should get your breast pump. If you are pregnant or currently on your breastfeeding journey, this is a question that often comes up a lot. And let's figure out when you should get a breast pump. One, you kind of have to think about why you want a breast pump. Is it because Sally has a breast pump and you're thinking, oh, because Sally has one, I have to get one. Or because there are tons of things on the internet saying, hey, you need to get your breast pump now. Or you genuinely want your breast pump. So go ahead and take a beat and just ask yourself, why do I need a breast pump? Why do I want a breast pump? Do I want to learn how to use it while I'm pregnant? Do I have a history of needing a breast pump early on in my journey? Do I want a breast pump to have just in case I need a breast pump? So having answers to these questions will help you narrow down when you should get a breast pump. Another thing that you should think about is how am I getting my breast pump? Is this something that I need to save up for? Am I getting a hand-me-down, which is a topic in itself. And if you can get a brand new breast pump, get a brand new breast pump. If you are going through insurance to get your breast pump, do they have a specific timeline that you need to adhere to in order to obtain your breast pump? How long does it actually take to get your breast pump through insurance? These are all things that you want to have mapped out so that way you can appropriately plan and have your breast pump when you actually need it. Another thing you have to consider is where are you on your current journey? So not just why you want a breast pump, but where are you on your journey? Are you pregnant? Did you just give birth? Are you struggling with your milk supply? Are you wanting to build up your milk supply and you have enough for your little one, but you want to create a more robust milk supply or have extra? These are things that you're going to want to ask yourself as well. So let's assume you're pregnant. If you're pregnant and your past 28 weeks, some insurances will say 28 weeks or you have to wait 32 weeks during your pregnancy in order to request a breast pump. During this time, you're not really going to be using your breast pump on your body. You can absolutely acquaint yourself, get to learn your breast pump, play with it a little bit. Um, and that way you can say, hey, you know what? I actually want my breast pump while I'm pregnant. So that way I can learn how to do this, try it on, just play with the press pump. Or you can think to yourself, you know what, this isn't my first kid and last time we ended up in NICU or I'm currently high risk and my doctors are telling me that I might have to have a little bit of a NICU stay with my little one, when should I get my breast pump then? Well, you might actually wanna wait until your baby's born because you may need a specific type of pump. You may need a hospital grade pump that you can rent from your insurance. And if you decided to actually buy a breast pump or have them send you one for you to keep, then you won't be able to necessarily use your insurance to rent a hospital grade breast, uh, breast pump while your little one is in the hospital. Either way, there is a way around all the things and you will have a breast pump. So coming back to the question of when should I get a breast pump? Well, if you're pregnant and you wanna play with a breast pump and get to know your breast pump, get your breast pump while you're pregnant. If you're hesitant and you're wondering, okay, well, I kinda of wanna wait this out and see what is my what my situation is going to look like, then, why not wait until your little one is born? Because in the first few weeks, you're going to be working on establishing a latch, building up your milk supply, and not really using that breast pump. If for some reason, your baby is not latching and you need to use a breast pump in order to protect your supply, then you can talk to the hospital, your insurance, in order to rent another breast pump 
and it usually shows up the next day or you can pick it up right at the hospital. So there are solutions in order to say, you know what, I kind of need a breast pump right now or I want to wait. And I know this is a bit ambiguous as far as, hey, when should I get my breast pump? But it really just depends on your situation and your lifestyle. When choosing a breast pump, you also want to look at what is your lifestyle? Are you going to be sitting and pumping? Are you going to be sitting in a room near an outlet pumping or sitting in a car pumping? Are you going to be mopping and doing the dishes while you pump? Do you just want to have the freedom to go for a walk while you're pumping? And while many moms think, oh, you know what? I'm totally gonna be doing yoga while I pump and I need a pump that'll allow me to pump while I'm upside down. They get the pump and then they're like, I kind of just want to sit down and they're near an outlet anyway. So these are things that you kind of need to go through in your mind to figure out what you need, what you want. It's really what you want as well. And what best fits your lifestyle. Understanding some of these things and narrowing down your pump choice will also put a timeline in front of you because if something is out of stock or it just takes time to get to you, you're going to factor in the time it takes for that item to come to you and determine when you should actually order your pump. If you have a friend that has a pump, you can play with their pump. A lot of mamas will let you just tinker with their pump, take a look, get your hands on it. Um, there are tons of other YouTube videos out there that talk about pumps, so that way you can spend some time getting to know pumps without actually having it in your hand. Um, and that way you can decide, okay, do I really need to get this now? Can I just wait till a few weeks into my journey? And then that way, in case you're feeling overwhelmed with all the things, wait a little bit until you're almost ready to use it. Don't wait until the day before you actually need to use it to say, oh, I'm gonna go get it. Waiting a little bit so that way you can focus on what you need right now, like latching or breastfeeding supplies, learning how to hand express is a big deal. Learning how to do all these things and not overwhelming yourself is a big deal. The one breast pump that I recommend for every mom, and if you're like, I just need to get something, but I might need a secondary pump, but I need something right now. Um, the one that I always recommend for every single mom to have in their arsenal is a hand pump, a manual pump. So there are tons of brands out there, but a manual pump is one that you literally hold with your hand and you squish, 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 squish while it's on your breast. So you're holding it onto your breast and squish, 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 squish. So that means you can only pump one breast at a time, which is totally fine, but you have something that you can use in a pinch. Um, it's also a pump that many moms find that they end up using their entire journey, especially if they're not having to pump exclusively or super often. But it does give you peace of mind in the meantime if you're wondering, hey, I kinda need a pump, but I don't know exactly which one to get, but I wanna have one just in case. Having a manual pump is really important because it doesn't use batteries. Um, there are less parts to actually clean and it's just less daunting overall. So uh, knowing how to use it so you don't get carpal tunnel is a big deal, but that's fixable too. <laughs> Another thing that'll help you identify what kind of pump you need and when you need to get your pump is identifying your Milky's goals. So do you want to exclusively pump? Do you want to breastfeed and pump? Or are you solely focused on exclusively breastfeeding and not needing to pump? So understanding what route you would like to take will help you identify how soon you need a pump because if you're exclusively pumping, then you're going to need a pump as soon as your little one is born. If you are going to combine breastfeeding and pumping, then you're going to want to establish a good latch and supply before you even start pumping in the beginning. So not having a pump in the first few weeks could totally be fine and warranted. If you are not wanting to pump at all, then not having a pump, not stressing over needing a pump or having a pump is 
something you can put on the side and use your brain power towards, hey, what am I going to eat next? Or <laughs> what am I going to drink next? Speaking of which, I'm thirsty. So I always have some sort of booby cocktail, body cocktail. Oh. Today it's a little brown looking, but it's okay. It's pomegranate, collagen, and water. And it's fantastic. Oh, it feels so good. Anyway, um, back to <laughs> when should you get a breast pump? So yes, if you're combining breastfeeding with pumping, exclusively breastfeeding, or you don't even want to pump, that'll help you determine when you should get your breast pump because you either need it right now for exclusive breastfeeding, sorry, for exclusive pumping, or a little later if you're focusing on that latch and your milk supply. Another part of Milky's goals that you should think about or at least consider is how long do you want to provide breast milk for? So if you want to exclusively provide breast milk by breastfeeding for three months, then you probably won't be using your breast pump as often. Um, you're going to want to acclimate your body to a breast pump before or around six weeks, hint, hint, um, just in case you're looking for an actual timeline. So some mamas have a goal of breastfeeding for six months, weaning, but having a stash so that way they can offer a bottle from six months to a year. That is an entire strategy on its own. Or what if you're combining breastfeeding and bottle feeding and you need to put milkies in a bottle while you're at work. So whatever your plan is, even if you don't want to use a pump, I highly recommend acclimating or letting your body recognize that there's a pump. So having a pump on hand, and this is what you guys have been waiting for, having a pump on hand no later than six weeks postpartum is a really good point. Okay, that is a good timeline so that way you can at least use it a few times. Whether it's a hand pump, an electric pump, a corded pump, a cordless pump, there are so many. Um, having something on hand that you can physically use to remove milk from your body before or around six weeks, it's a pretty good spot. Of course you can use it before and of course you can use it after. It's just... You have to find what works for you and use it well. Hi, I'm Nalini. I'm a lactation consultant and a nursing mama on this journey with you. And there are so many bits and pieces to breastfeeding, pumping, the, the entire journey that I will be going through bits and pieces with you. If you found this video to be enlightening or you found something that you can share with other mamas, go ahead and share it with them. Smash that like button so that other mamas can find it. And go ahead and subscribe, ding ding, um, and hit the bell button if you haven't already so that way you know when future videos are coming out. I'll see you in the next video. When did you get your breast pump? And when did you get your breast pump? Leave a comment below and let's get the conversation started. Keep it going and if you have more questions, Leave a comment below. <laughs>